Hi, I'm Corey Wayne, and today we're going to talk about Elon Musk and the Boring Company. So for the, those of you that are, are or maybe aren't familiar, his Boring Company basically drills underground, makes tunnels, it has like, you know, concrete, and creates a tunnel that eventually will have electric sleds that you can drive your Tesla car onto. And it'll go from like North Miami Beach to, I think, one Hard Rock Stadium. And then uh, also, I guess, FIU, Florida National mm -hmm. University's campus from North Miami Beach. And I guess it's like a three-year project, 180, 220 million. And so the nice thing is, is it's all computer control. So there's no start and stop. And it's not like the, it's like you drive your car on it. There'll be an elevator, like a car elevator at ground level. You drive onto it, it'll lower you down and to the complex. And then you'll just kind of, you know, you'll go in and and you'll take off and you can go like hundreds of miles an hour, I think is ultimately the goal they want to get it up to. And you'll be able to get to places without stopping or anything, all computer control. And then sled ride rises up and then you get out and go wherever. And there's a bunch of different places where they're building them. Is it at like a people mover where you just sit there or do you drive? No, you just drive into your car, into a sled, an electric sled. So you don't do anything. You can no. just hang out. Have you yeah. guys been to Epcot, the the race car thing? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Yeah. That's what I'm imagining. Yeah. You know, the race car, racetrack, test track? Yeah. It's kind of like, it's test exactly track. like that. Yeah. Is this just, that would be pretty cool. Okay. So say there's something weird happens and you're locked down there. They're going to have to have like little escape hatches and stuff like they do so, on roller yeah. coasters, right? And like subways and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, it'll all be com computer controlled. So you, cars will be able to be close to one another and and then you'll just get off whatever your stop and your destination <laughs> is. Computers can crash. True. So can people. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> Who's more reliable? Probably, Probably computers. computers. Well, the people yeah. won't be driving. They'll be in the sled and yeah. they'll be along for the ride. That's a great idea. I'm all for okay. it. I thought he was doing it in LA though, out west. He's building a bunch out into of the them. desert He's and stuff. Got one in Vegas, I think they're yeah, building. Yeah, they need There's to do one, one from the east coast to the west coast. That would be amazing. Well, I think he's doing the smaller ones, so they they people see the difference. Yeah, they can test them in markets. Yeah. Are they like, doing one in New York? Fungus. They should do one like up northeast somewhere. No, I don't know. DC probably. is where they should do it. But like, high, like DC people, wouldn't let them. There's too much. Well, people that have like uh, traffic issues, you know, like a, a really bad commutes. That's why I said DC. It's okay, everywhere. Even like Miami, New York. horrendous. I mean, everywhere. Yeah, Even Orlando, yeah. Boston, all those big cities. It'd be hard to do in New York because Boston just, could be really good. Okay, I Boston thought it was a small city though. Boston's pretty big. Under their stadium, they have a train system, like a train stop that goes mm -hmm. there. Even it's Pittsburgh. interesting. It would be like a, a a new version of the subway, honestly. Yeah, but it's for cars, more efficient. Yeah, over longer distances. I mean, if they can do it with subways, they can do it with because our public country. transportation really sucks here in America. It's terrible. Other countries, but we're just not built for it. Our literally yeah. the whole system's not made for it. We're made to just depend on cars. Mm -hmm. Everybody. That's why you can do it underground. I mean, I think the things are great. It's you know pretty genius what he's done because he improved the technology he and his team, so they're able to go a lot faster mm -hmm. and do a lot more length versus the old ways they used yeah. to do it. Underground safer too as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say storms, weather, people, True. stuff falling, anything. So, Esty, what are the yeah. specifics on this? Here are the specifics. So, Elon Musk is pushing for a massive 6.2 mile underground tunnel to ferry Tesla vehicles and their passengers in the traffic logged area of North Miami Beach. Musk's boring company are currently considering the Hard Rock Stadium and Florida International University's Biscayne campus as hosts for the transit tunnel. The rough estimated cost for the project sits at between $180 million and $220 million. It is expected to be completed in a 36-month construction time frame, according to Boring. That's a bold prediction right there. Yeah. If they can do that, that's pretty awesome. I just, I'm used to construction. That's a lot of tunneling for three, three years. years. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're constantly going. I mean, they said they were going to do the interstate system in Orlando, Florida, and it was going to be a it was like five, six years, a five to six year thing. Were they in year and four? They should have been four? done by now. It's still going. You're right. There's certain cities where the this, the interstate systems are always under construction, yeah. nonstop. Like Atlanta. Well, it makes sense in like winter areas too, because they just get the roads get so beat up. So in the summer, they have to. Like I experienced that in Montreal. The traffic really sucks because they're working on most of the roads. Mm. All the
all the time in the summer because their winters are just so harsh. True. That they have great pro- public transit, like between subways and buses. That yeah. really opened my eyes because before that, I'm only used to using cars. So the boring so company would work work really well in places that ha- get really bad weather like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's also smart to go underground. Like we can because think of it, they're boring all these tunnels. Hey, we can put our power under there. Mm-hmm. So storms, the same anything, time. That stuff don't get yeah. knocked out. It's a lot more secure. It's a lot safer from solar radiation and stuff like that as well, too. I wonder how the rising water in Miami, isn't the city of Miami trying to battle like rising water in the downtown area? How does that play into this? Does you it not have, matter? You have King the Tides, Tides, which yeah. we've always had down here. Uh-huh. And it floods, you know, it floods all around where their canals are at certain times of the year. And, um, you know, of course, the news like oh, it's climate change, it's sinking. And but it is a problem sometimes when it because the water comes right up and goes over the whether it's the intercoastal, the seawall or whatever, mm-hmm. that no, does flood areas, you know, especially where you got drainage. The drainage actually backs up and the seawater comes up through the drains and floods the streets that way. And then when the tide goes back down, it drains back out. The concept is already in effect in Las Vegas, where a 1.7 mile track allows for Teslas to cruise beneath the city's convention center at top speeds of 40 mph. Miles per hour. Yes, sir. So it's only 40 miles per hour. That's interesting. Yeah, I remember that they were, wanted to get those the things up to like where they go hundreds of miles an yeah. hour. So that way, if you're going like a long distance, you can get there in 20, 30 minutes. I feel yeah. like testing out starting 40 is good. They don't want to go <laughs> immediately balls to the wall. So I mean, I would want to go balls <laughs> to the wall. If you if, go big or go home, right? That is true. <laughs> you got to per, you know, perfect the technology, though. True. 